I bought it. Uh, have to carry the stand like their own stand with them. And if they really if they're earning, you know, if they really want to use the stand, they'll bring the stand. Because it's really it's like a you know it's kind of an initiation in being a comic carrying this thing around with you. people to come see the host show because it's down, right down the street from here. Uh, and I thought comedy doesn't necessarily have to be seen. You know, you can listen to it. People are be funny. I uh, never heard back from that. I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> uh, it was uh, it was horrible. I thought I, I'm a one liner comic. I thought I had to link them all together, so I acted out all the jokes together. And it was just, no one got any, any of it. You know, they didn't get the jokes, they didn't get why I was acting them out. Uh, and I learned pretty fast. That's not how you do one liners. You just kind of do them, put it out there, and hopefully get a laugh. Uh, but uh, it was it's always good. To to uh, have that experience in the beginning for a lot. Oh, this might be a little dis distracting. <laughs> hey, it does come with the pen for two bucks. Worst set ever is probably like, I did the Laugh Factory. It was only like my second time doing stand up for real. And, you shouldn't do the laugh at you when you're not young and green. Anyway, uh, I got heckled for the first time, and this guy uh, shouted out right before my punchline, uh, You're lazy! Like that. And I had no idea what he meant by that. He was drunk off his ass. And, uh, I finally f I figured out it was because I was using a set list, which every comic uses, and he thought that was lazy. And uh, I wish I had a good comeback for him, but I didn't. I just kind of asked him like, where he lived. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I did. I thought maybe if he uh, yeah, shared some personal information, it would put it back on him and it would make him feel really uncomfortable. So it was very passive, <laughs> passive aggressive. But uh, he did shut up, right? He was like, ah, just keep going, man. So that was it. But it really, uh, you know, so I guess that, uh, you know, it kind of, it kind of threw me off a little bit. I didn't, you know, it was hard to get back into it after that. Well, my name's Ian. Um, I spell my name with a small I because I'm against capitalism. I'm <laughs> <laughs> part of Ethiopian. The Ian part. <laughs> 
Once you see is what you get. And if you're blind, you don't get shit. I saw a sign that said, uh, no stopping any time. As if I had the power to stop time. The corn dog shelter is a place for battered dogs. 